Rebecca Dudley and this is MTV Thread. Now today we're here to catch up with an 18 year old hairstylist and makeup mega baby. So Lottie Tomlinson, are you ready to unstitch some of your star secrets? I'm ready. Yes? Yep. I'm ready. Good. I like it. So you obviously spend a lot of time making up and styling people's hair and making everyone else look good. Yeah. Today's all about you. Mm -hmm. We love your style. So, I mean, how would you summarise it? I really love like sport kind of wear. So I'm all yeah. about being really casual. I'm not like a dressy kind of person. I think you can do so much with it. Like it can be a really casual thing or it can be like quite a dressy thing. I just love it. So where do you like to buy your clothes? Where do you go shopping? Um, I do a lot of shopping online and I just love all the high street brands. I've never really been into like the designer stuff. I think you can find so much more cooler stuff with the high street brands. And I also like the vintage shops. I think you can get loads of cool stuff in there. Yeah. Any tips for vintage shopping? Because I know when you walk in it can be really intimidating because there's just so much stuff on every rail. I usually just like grab what catches my eye and then yeah. at the end of the day if it doesn't suit you then it doesn't suit you. But it's all about trying new things. Alright, so you've bought some of your favourite pieces from your wardrobe yep. with you today. Can you talk us through what you've got here? So, this is kind of like some bits of sportswear, nice. which I love. I've got a lot of these, but these are kind of my favourite. I think they're the Rita Ora collection, mm. but I really like the colour of the stripes, and they're super comfy. And again, goes with everything. Yeah, exactly. Love this, I've got this. Oh, this is one of my favourite jumpers. I wore yeah. it for a festival a couple of weeks ago, and it was just perfect. The colour block's really cool. And just so comfy as Definitely. well. Definitely, it's really like soft inside. Ah, oh, can put it on now. Yeah, we do. Sleep in it forever. Ah, uh, this is like a staple, right? Definitely, these are like my favourite shorts. I just feel like they're really flattering and comfy, and I love the colour as well. And day, night as well. Yeah. Pretty much all of this stuff you can just style up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so would you put this? Yeah. Top for this. Yeah, that'd be nice. What else could you wear this with? Um, I sometimes wear that under my dungarees. I think it looks cool under. Yeah, yeah, layer up. Yeah. That. And this, I suppose, is uh, again another staple. Yeah, you can't get enough. Love mesh. this. Yeah, I usually wear that under my dungarees as well, or with these jeans. What would you put underneath it for anyone? Um, like a black bralette. I think yeah. they look really nice under there. So this is the sort of Lottie dressed up look. Yeah, I wore this on my 17th birthday. These are like one of my favourite shorts for nights out because you know, really glittery and fun. And I think with a little black top, they look really cute. So you're liking your metallics? Yeah, looks oh. like it. <laughs> what else you got then? This, which is my favourite bomber. I think I wear this a lot with just jeans and a top or a little dress. So, and you could probably wear that in the evening as well, Yeah, right? definitely. Day and yeah. Night. Why is it your favourite? Just because you can wear uh, it. I think the colour. The colour just seems to go with a lot. Yeah, and I feel like with your hair... Yeah. Oh, so much shininess. It's so nice. <laughs> You spent a lot of time on the road when you were on tour with One Direction. Mm -hmm. What are your three must-have fashion items that you have to bring with you on the road? High-waisted jeans, uh, an Adidas trackie, mm -hmm. and probably my hoops. Cannot live without these. Why? I don't know. I just don't feel myself without them. Eh? Really? So like, like you'll like rare, a... you'll rarely catch me without hoops, and I just love them. You feel like naked without? Yeah, them? literally do. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk makeup. You're obviously amazing in it. Loving your face right now. Oh, you're always trying out bright, sort of bold statement makeup. Yeah. So what advice would you give to, to girls who want to try out some of the stuff that you're doing, but maybe don't feel as brave? It's literally just sitting on your own in your room, just trying it. Because then no one's really around to judge if it's not going to look right. And if you keep building up your confidence to do it on your own, I think then you can get confident enough to go out like it. Okay, now Lottie, we have to talk about your hair. You are famous for your ever-changing locks. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to start dyeing your hair all the time? Um, I think it's since working with Blue Tea Cell, they're so close with bleach, and then I think once you start, you just can't stop. It's addictive, isn't yeah. it? What's been your favourite hairstyle um, so far? Definitely the green. Yeah? Loved it, but it's just Hard so... Hard to get out. Yeah, that's why I haven't done it again. Do you ever feel like having different hair colours affects what you can and can't wear? Uh, yeah, it definitely does. does. It? I kind of learned that along the way. Like when I had my green, I had like a green top on and I looked in the mirror and I was like, you can't wear that because it clashes with your hair. You need to be quite careful with what you're wearing when you've got a bold colour. Yeah. Right, well thank you so much. For Thanks for having me. It's amazing. This has been a blast. Oh.